Federal officials alleging multi-millionaire Jeffrey Epstein abused dozens of underage girls, asking the public for any additional information. Prosecutors accused Epstein of operating a sex trafficking ring involving dozens of underage girls. Prison officials say Epstein was found dead in his cell early Saturday morning. Shocking news for Epstein's accusers who have continued to speak out in the more than a month since his arrest. Jeffrey Epstein's cause of death? Suicide by hanging. That's according to autopsy results released Friday by the New York Medical Examiner's Office. Tonight, Jeffrey Epstein's suicide is shining a spotlight on what employees say are widespread problems at federal prisons around the country. For this to happen in the special housing unit, a man that had been on suicide watch for a week, it is simply unconscionable. And now, for the first time, we're getting a look inside Jeffrey Epstein's cell shortly after he died by suicide. CBS News obtained the photos taken by the medical examiner. The pictures show Epstein's mattress, bunk, piles of sheets. You can even see a sleep apnea machine in that cell. Now, Epstein's death, again, ruled uh, suicide by hanging, but Epstein's family hired Dr. Michael Bodden to conduct an independent autopsy. Bodden believes foul play could be possibly involved here. However, again, Epstein's death ruled suicide by hanging. Epstein was accused of running a sex trafficking ring of underage girls. He pleaded not guilty to charges of conspiracy and sex trafficking of minors. Let's bring in Larry Levine. He's a former federal inmate, spent 10 years in federal prison, now runs Wall Street prison consultants, helping people survive life in a federal prison. All right, Larry, uh, you've seen some of these images, the sheets, the sleep machine. What, what, what stands out to you? I can't believe that the staff at MCC, especially in the special housing unit, would allow any inmates to accumulate that much clutter. And if those pictures didn't come from the coroner's office, I would say they're not real. Because when you, those are jumpsuits that we see on the floor, orange jumpsuits. And when they change those out, you give them essentially your old one, they give you a new one. Looks to me like maybe there's what, four jumpsuits in there, five jumpsuits in there? Looks to me like those, I don't think those are real, to be honest with you. And the place is dirty. I spent two years at MDC Los Angeles, and there was problems with infestation. I see on one of those images, there looks like maybe a mouse or something up by the window. I mean, that is a dirty cell. And they do cell inspections all the time. And... Maybe there truly is problems at MCC if the staff allowed a cell to reach that point of sanitation. Sanitation in any federal prison is that and health services are some of the main things that they concentrate on because they know if there is a sanitation issue, it could develop into viruses, diseases, and what have you. So I really don't know what to make of that. Hmm. Now, Mike, I read uh, that the staff, they were under investigation. Some were saying they were, I don't know, watching pornography on their cell phones. They were doing e-commerce. They were shopping. I believe that. The staff is under the impression, at least a lot of staff I've seen, that these federal prisons would run a lot smoother if there were no inmates there. And they should get paid. It really comes down to they don't care. I'm going to give you an example back when I was at MDC, got almost 20 years ago. There was a guy in the cell next to me, and he had a medical emergency. And his cellie was banging on the cell door to try to get one of the officer's attention. And he was banging on the door for about 15 minutes before somebody finally showed up. And the way they have these pods set up, there's like I was on uh, 6 North, then there was 6 South. This tells me, because we heard a door open and close, that the staff member who was supposed to be controlling that housing unit, they weren't even there. They were in the housing unit next door, probably BSing with the staff member over there. So, Mike, what it really comes down to is they don't care. Seriously. Mm -hmm. All right. Larry, always good to see you. Larry Levine joining us uh, with perspective on Jeffrey Epstein's death.